Stopping our headline news alert at this hour, Olympic gold medalist Michaela Maroney is suing USA Gymnastics, claiming she was paid to keep plastic story at any time of the year. There's something about it around the holidays, though, that it really does sort of have an, have an added significance. Robert, when you had that T-shirt made and you went to your favorite place on Earth, right. Disney, were you confident that you would get a kidney out of this? Well, you know what? Picture by a friend. What made you want to pick up the phone and get in touch? Um, I just thought it was something I should do. She sent me. Um, you know, I'm still numb. And when I told my kids, uh, it's funny, there was a moment of silence because even, you know, my son Max, he broke down. This would understandably create a bond between two people. Yes. Uh, the surgery scheduled for January, we should point out. But even just, we were talking a little bit with Richie in the break to make sure we could hear him on the phone. And just the interaction that you two had with one another. You've really grown uh, to have an affection for one another in this short period of time. Special person, that's for sure. Richie, um, as, you, as you look forward to January, what are some of the things that are going through your mind as you prepare for that surgery? Um, my biggest thing is just to, uh, I hope you've ever looked forward to dialysis before in the way you do now. Why? <laughs> because, like I said, you know, each time I go, I know it's one less. Because, again, it's four hours a day. I came up with the idea for Disney. But, you know, there are people out there that, you know, there's a seven to ten year waiting list. Uh, on the deceased donor. It is, it is a great message, and, and we should point out, too, Richie knew his blood type because he was donating blood. Yes. So yes. Uh, we can be living donors, we can donate blood, all yep. so important. Exactly. Uh, it is such a pleasure to speak with both of you. Oh, well, thank you. And we are really looking forward to the update in January. And who knows, maybe Disney will send you back on Wait, their dime. Disney? It's worth a shot. <laughs> Robert Lee with... Let's get you caught up now on some of the other news that hits home on this Thursday. Opioids now kill more people than breast cancer. That coming to us from the CDC, which reports... More than 42,000 people overdosed from opioids in just the last year. All of you hitting the road at some point today. According to AAA, today is expected to be the most congested day on the roads for the entire Christmas season. How's that for a little gift? That's because typical rush hour traffic will be made much worse by all those folks trying to get a head start on their holiday trip. Just to put it in context, I heard on the radio this morning, here in New York City, traffic's supposed to be three times worse than usual. Ouch. Do you ever feel like your iPhone is maybe a little sluggish? Maybe not just because it's cold outside? Well, it turns out you might not be imagining things. Reports in recent days suggest that operating a complaint like this, what is the explanation from Apple? The explanation is that, like any phone, the battery inside, right. you can't do anything to the phone. So now you're just stuck with an older battery and a slower phone. It's not about making us upgrade? It's a perennial complaint. But it still, still makes you a little angry, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't, thank you. Thanks. Three major hurricanes, massive wildfires, tornado outbreaks, 20... We will continue to stay on the story out of Puerto Rico. It's now been three months since Hurricane Maria pounded that island, and families today are still fighting to survive. CNN correspondent Bill Weir recently reconnected with a family he met right after Maria hit. I'm a legal analyst on television. This is so very there's, true. There's that, Joey. And Johnson. I could be on with you. Well, hey, hey. <laughs> Always a pleasure, my friend. Pleasure's Thank mine. Thank you. Thank you, Erica. I, I, I will go on the record here as saying I am completely biased for a royal wedding because I love this. And these pictures are just, they're so non-formal, right? Right. I guess, I guess the right. real word is informal. I'm just, I'm out of words right now. But they're yeah. beautiful and sweet and touching and loving. It's such an... You think that they may be, the royal family may be underestimating the amount of interest in this wedding. You and I spent a long time covering yeah. the last royal wedding and the setup was insane in terms of the media from around the world and specifically the U.S. that was covering that. Yeah. We now have a fiancé who's American. Mm -hmm. Are you telling me that there is more interest, you think, in this wedding than there was even in Will and Kate's? I think there's certainly more interest in this country. And <laughs> Vic and I said that we can go glamping, so um, I have tents and we'll coordinate. I'm in. Okay. Sleeping bags at the ready. Thank you. Happy holidays. Same to you.